Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today I have a non-JDM version box over here. So from here know that this is something indeed not in Japan as the word suggests. But you know what, let's just proceed because since this is a non-JDM box, they are like nothing special and that's it. So we have a warranty card over here, a G-Shock International Warranty Card and a Module 5562. This is a multilingual module. This is like an impulse type of purchase. I made this decision to get this just out of curiosity since it is very new. It looks good online as far as photos online, but if this is really worth it, let's pop it up right away and just share with all you guys what the watch that we're dealing with over here. And this is for the Mod Master family. Right, the one that I got over here is a non-JDM version, hence this model over here is not Wave Scepter model. So the reference number for the watch that I'm be reviewing today is GSG100 1A3DR. The only difference between this and the JDM version is that the JDM is Wave Scepter, this one aren't, and that's pretty much it. The rest are very much exactly the same. And you know what, I grabbed this all the green and black version because I want to match this thing with my Mod Master over here. And as you can see now, the color it looks totally different now. I'm just unboxing right now and this is my first impression, right? So my first impression is that if you're gonna get this and you have a lot of money, if you have more budget, get a triple sensor mod master instead of this. That's just that's just it. My first impression of this, I still didn't think this is worth the price. It costs like three, four thousand yen in Japan. If you get this uh, non-JDM version, it's gonna be lesser than that, but it's still pretty high pricing model. Alright, remove this uh, plastic over here like that, put this thing at the side and here is the watch. Look at how glossy it looks. I really love looking at those uh, solar panels that have those sunburst effect that gonna reflect those rainbowish light. I think you guys could already see it right now. Look at how it reflects light. Look at how gorgeous it looks right now. Look at that. Look at how colorful it is. I'm gonna turn on the light right now just so you guys can see even more. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Wow. Wow, this watch is beautiful, man. Just beautiful. You have the rugged appearance of the Modmaster, but the watch face, it looks beautiful. That solar panel on this piece is gorgeous. This is the first time I've seen anything like this. So gotta give credits on that. Good job, Casio, for designing one of this. But before we get to that, let's have a look on the sides. We're gonna have a look at the Modmaster style of body and also the button looks different as well. It features, I believe, uh, more futuristic, like almost like the GPS Rangeman model. Look at that. Although the GPS Rangeman have a curved inward button, in this case, just flatten out. But you guys can see that it's totally different from the Modmaster button, which is have those uh, texture on top of it. This part is just flatten out, but they have those very, uh, very cool looking design at the sides of the button and also we have this button guard around in metal this will be for the uh the cylinder for the more resistant structure for the button one two three four we have four button operation and one button at the top part over here on the uh, right side comes in gold colorway since this is indeed the gold and green and black version so this is why i grabbed one of these it looks gold and green i mean match very very well in my opinion and also this is positive display so I figure this video will be useful to you guys, so it seems it's gonna be easy for me to show you how the display looks like, right? This button up here comes in different texture, the size is different as well, it's popping up way out works like so, and we have some sort of resin I believe in the middle here in black colorway which looks very cool as well. So this will be the light button. I'm not sure why they need to highlight this light button, but they did it and it looks very, very nice already. Look at how good it looks. The element is a black type of lighting or violet light that gonna close all of those hours and the hands as well in there. So this is similar as the uh, GA1000 series uh, G-Shock watch. They call those the Neon Illuminator Gravity Master, but in this case, Neon Illuminator Mod Master. And you know what, I'm gonna name this model like so, a Neon Illuminator Mod Master instead of Twin Sensor Mod Master or Triple Sensor Mod Master. Call this Neon Illuminator and everyone will know what this thing is already. So this is for the side, really looking industrial and right, very very rugged appearance but the watch face looks very beautiful. Cool. 
looking to the front we have this four uh, allen heads that were screw head over here which is looking really really tough already g-shock and protection over here comes in gold brownish colorway adjust mode comes in gray search light writings over here comes in gray as well we have a metal ring on top here that shows the 24 hour time format just in case you need that so 24 turn in all those and moving down in there the index seems pretty slim as well and moving down even further we have four digital display gonna display a date over here in this gold frame part this one at six o'clock position that gonna display uh, the day and also some battery indicator and at the top part at 12 o'clock index looks like a sniper scope that's gonna display as the dst or the auto light on or off indicator you know what i'm gonna try to turn that on right now if, if even possible all right sorry turn on just press the light button and hold it and Try it, let's try that. I'm pretty sure this have a full auto light, so it won't turn on if this uh, solid burner is detecting a presence of light. This four window over here gonna be a mode indicator only. 12 hour and 6 hour index looking really big. 2, 4, 8, 10 hour index comes in smaller font but it match very well with the whole thing it didn't clutter the watch face as much since they already have four digital display i mean it looks cluttered enough to me but still looking clean cleaner than i, than I would expect it actually and sadly we don't have any second hands in there just our 10 minute hands and that's pretty much it All right, for the function, what else we have here? We gonna have a look at world time, of course, and we have next will be a stopwatch, one over 100 second stopwatch, so it's pretty standard thing. You could stop and you could split time, I believe. Yeah, reset, of course. Press mode now. Uh, we'll go to countdown timer. Default to five minutes already. Just press it and that's done. Stop and reset. I'm gonna make a module demonstration video just to explain or cover even more on this very model over here. But for now, I'm just gonna quick run through since. We're just gonna have a look at the appearance right now. So I don't see any snooze alarm in here. Press mode again. We'll go back to home time. No sensors in here. This is a neon illuminator mod master and not twin sensor mod master. So know the difference. No sensor in here at all. Right? Although it looks very cool. What makes this one better is that the appearance looks way better. And the function wise for daily wear for regular people who don't need all those sensors, this is it. Right, moving to the front on the watch band, they have similar construction as the Mod Master triple sensor model or even the twin sensor model. The triple sensor is way bigger than this uh, neon illuminator model, but the rest are pretty much the same at least. The watch band comes with similar texture on top of it. So I believe they just uh, recycle this parts and just add it in here. What makes this one different is just the body, you know, the bezels. They're also almost the same. I believe the size is just uh, roughly uh, different but the rest are exactly the same in my opinion at the bottom part just flat shape and fully matte finish by the way mark resist over here in white grayish and we have water 20 bar resist and top solar writings in brown almost gold light for this color team uh, olive green and black and we have over here neon illuminated writings at the top and the texture again very nicely done as well very detailed made i don't think anyone could copy this even though i believe there are some fake version of mod master out there but i don't think that could match with this guy over here the band keeper however comes in a uh, rosin with a uh, diff different type of texture of course no slits no holes just a rough texture at the top with g shocks looking classy over there the rest are just plain no texture at all so there's nothing over there and the buckle two horn with calcio china sign below it so that is pretty much uninteresting but if i'm mistaken this gsg or gwg one series was firstly released in china like december of last year and then this model was just released after that in the month of january so in japan but i just got this in uh, March, but anyway, it's, it's fine. I'm pretty sure Castle will be releasing more colorway for this if you want something different. But for now, this is the basic one, the most basic colorway that you always gonna get. You're gonna find this sitting on shelf almost all the time, so yeah, keep it in mind. And we're gonna have a look at the backplate now. We have here a standard round shape looking backplate, no, none of those uh, harsh or heavy engraving at all, just standard plain hairline finish Casio 5562 window there GSG 100 instead of GWG 100 stainless steel back Japan movement case in China as well water resistant to 20 bar and shock absorbing structures so that's nice as well really tough looking watch but fully made in China and I believe that is how they are able to make this the cost of this significantly lower than 
this guy over here this like this one over here if I'm not mistaken like double the price of this and you're gonna get a lot of functions more than this but for an entry level yeah I get the idea I don't think I could even compare this to a triple sensor mod master like this. This is like a totally different thing. So this one over here is just comparable to the twin sensor mod master model instead. I'm gonna remove it off my wrist and just share with all you guys how this thing gonna feel like. All right, now this is how the watch looks like on my wrist, looking very, very good. Surprisingly, I have the mod master. This guy looks really big though, even though the fitting is almost the same. Since they have this tapered downward uh pointing downward type of watch band design similar to this guy over here but this guy yeah this size is smaller and i don't think i could even wear the holes number one from the top over there so if you have a skinnier wrist than me i'm pretty sure you could rock this thing man you could wear the holes the first hole from the top over there and you're gonna get yourself a really nice fit already although this down there just keep it in mind you're gonna have that as well but for me right now it looks really good surprisingly i didn't expect this type of fitting at all but yeah, very nice. The weight if for this, I don't know, just 88 grams. Although it is big, it is pretty comfortable as well compared to when you wear one of these, which is slightly you know, heavier. But this thing has way more function. So, will I recommend you guys to get one of this? I would say yes. This is a nice option for daily wear. It is dark solar. You don't need to replace the battery at all. This thing over here is going to last you 5, 10 to almost 20 years old, I believe, due to how tough it looks for a regular person. But if you are a collector, if you want those uh, uh, sensors, you want those uh, survival uh, type of functions in your watch, this is not it. This is for casual wear. But you're still going to get all those toughness in this and yeah but that's all that i have for now i'm probably gonna share more and more as i grab more of this soon in the future but for now this is all that i have and i hope you guys found this video useful informative and entertaining as well for your future reference leave a like if this video does help you and also subscribe to see more contents like this coming up in the future thank you very very much for watching guys this is g-shock high fashion channel and um